diseases caused from protein deficiency. We all know that protein plays a vital role in our survival, from providing energy to promoting muscle growth and recovery. But, did you also know that there are a number of serious diseases that are caused by not having enough protein in our diets? Protein deficiencies are caused by one of two things, unhealthy eating habits and malnutrition. The majority of cases of protein deficiency are caused by not eating enough, or the right, protein-rich foods. But, there are some cases of patients who suffer from conditions known as congenital protein C or S deficiencies, that can cause unusual clotting of the blood. A well-known condition caused by these deficiencies that is recently coming to light is thrombosis. You may have seen news stories in the past few years about people with this condition and air travel, with some cases of the sufferers actually dying. There are a number of other health conditions that can be attributed to not having enough protein in your diet. Some of these conditions include breast cancer, heart disease, colon cancer, and osteoarthritis. Low blood pressure, a low heart rate, and anemia are also conditions that can be caused in part by not having enough of the right proteins in your diet. Other issues people who do not get enough protein may face are cirrhosis of the liver, the shrinking of muscle tissue, and edema. Malnutrition in third world countries caused by protein deficiencies. We see the commercials nearly every time we watch television. Images of children in third world countries, who are sick and dying from malnutrition, haunt us. Much of this malnutrition comes from a protein deficiency known as quashiorkor, and is mainly found in infants who are weaned. Because the food they are weaned with lacks the proteins these children need to develop strong muscles and be protected from a number of diseases, they often develop a condition known as marasmus. This is when a lack of protein causes body tissues to degenerate, or waste away. Children with this condition often experience growth and other developmental problems. Dietary sources of protein, it is not difficult to get more protein in your diet, and it doesn't have to taste bad either, which is a common misconception about many diet foods. Some of your favorite dishes, such as steak, fish, beans, and more are loaded with protein. A single serving of one of these dishes can even provide the total recommended daily intake of protein. There are foods that are complete proteins and those that are incomplete proteins. Contrary to popular belief, you can get all of the protein you need in your diet to avoid a number of health issues with incomplete proteins. Just eat them in combination, and you will be getting your recommended daily intake of protein. Below you will find many delicious, protein-packed foods, and the amount of protein they contain per serving or gram. These foods include meat, fish and poultry, milk products, nuts, fruits and vegetables, and grains. Meat, fish and poultry, protein per serving, 6 ounce serving of steak, 42 grams, most cuts of beef, 7 grams per ounce, chicken breast, 11 grams per ounce, chicken drumstick, 11 grams, fish fillets, 7 grams per ounce, canned tuna, 6 ounce can, 40 grams, pork chop, average size, 22 grams, pork loin or tenderloin, 7 grams per ounce, ham, 6 grams per ounce, eggs and milk products, protein per serving, 1 large egg, 6 grams, milk, 8 grams cup, cottage cheese, 15 grams slash 0.5 cup, hard cheese, 10 grams per ounce, medium cheese, dash 8 grams per ounce, soft cheese, 6 grams per ounce, yogurt minus 10 grams cup, vegetables, protein per serving, broccoli, raw, 17 grams bunch, tomatoes, canned, 11 grams cup, split peas, boiled, no salt, 16 grams cup, lentils, mature, boiled, no salt, 18 grams cup, canned corn, 5 grams cup, frozen spinach, boiled, no salt, 6 grams cup, nuts and seeds, protein per serving, peanuts, 9 grams slash 0.25 cup, cashews, 5 grams slash 0.25 cup, almonds, 8 grams slash 0.25 cup, sunflower seeds, 6 grams slash 0.25 cup, peanut butter, dash 8 grams slash 2 tbsp, grains, protein per serving, buckwheat flour, 15 grams cup, oat bran, 7 grams cup, brown rice, cooked, 5 grams cup, whole grain wheat flour, 16 grams cup, beans, protein per serving, soybeans, 14 grams slash 0.5 cup, split peas, 8 grams slash 0.5 cup, most beans, including black, 7 to 10 grams slash 0.5 cup, Get your recommended daily intake of protein with supplements, if you are getting enough of the right proteins in your diet, for whatever reasons, you can get the protein that you need through a number of different types of protein supplements. These supplements are available in powder, liquid, and capsule form, and are used by a number of people, including bodybuilders, athletes, dieters, and people recovering from surgery and other health issues. Protein powders, if you are looking for versatile supplements that can be used in most of your favorite recipes, protein powders are the way to go. In their unflavored forms, these powders can be used in just about any recipe you can think of. All you need to do is add a couple of scoops to the dish you are preparing.
Or, you can get flavored powders, such as chocolate, vanilla, berry, and fruit punch, which can be used to make lots of great tasting shakes, smoothies, and slushies. These drinks are a terrific way to make sure that your kids are getting enough protein in their diets, especially if they are fussy eaters. Liquid protein supplements. You can get liquid protein supplements in pre-prepared drinks that are portable and very tasty. Or, many liquid protein supplements, like their powdered counterparts, can be added to many recipes, including shakes and smoothies. Many of these supplements are milk-based, so if you or your family members are lactose intolerant, or are allergic to milk and milk products, you need to carefully read the ingredients to make sure the supplement you are purchasing does not contain these products. Protein capsules. This form of protein supplement is pretty much self-explanatory. Powdered or liquid protein in concentrated forms is put into capsules, which you can easily take with a glass of water, milk, or juice.